January 2019, Sunday morning, St. Petersburg, former Leningrad. I'm walking through a Nevsky, Nevsky prospect today. Absolutely free of car traffic because it's a great day in the history of this city. Full breakthrough of the siege of Leningrad. Days. That's the time when the city was completely blocked all the ways to deliver the stuff that was needed to people uh, to support their living. At least 632,000 people died during the siege of Leningrad. But by some information up to 1.5 million of people, mostly civilians. What Nazis wanted is just starve people to death and to minimize their own loss. Now, on the palace square, the main square of the city, there's a military parade.
Нам на мою сфотографируй. Алис. Wonderful sunny weather today. Look, even the rainbow there. It's a winter palace. Frozen and snowy Neva River, Peter and Paul Fortress. And uh, you know, this day is one of just a few days in a year when they're burning on the fires on the rostral columns of the speed of Vasilisky Islands. Italianske, Italian streets. It's in the historical city center of St. Petersburg. Here is one more event to commemorate uh, the breakthrough of the siege of Leningrad. Events called Ulice Жизни, the streets of life. Here is like an exhibition of techniques that worked back in those days, like this tram. Look, what a huge line of people are wanting, waiting, wanting to go through that. People really want to know more about this, especially those ones who are living in St. Petersburg for a long time. They want to know about it because it was actually one of the biggest, if not the biggest, genocide against people ever. Yes, genocide, because uh, the purpose was not just to capture the city, but to starve people to death. There was a command from Hitler that even if this city will throw the white flag, do not accept it because uh, it was going to be too expensive to, you know, uh, to feed then all the civilians that they will capture. The guys were the heroes, even during the siege. They are trying to live like a normal people and never cancelled all those uh, theatrical performances and so that to give people an inspiration through the art. It's almost 7 p.m. Got back to the palace square in the morning. Here was military parade and now I'm going to be a 3D light laser video panorama show dedicated to the siege of Leningrad and also they are going to have a direct line with the Grand Hall of St. Petersburg Philharmonia named after Dmitry Shostakovich. This day they always play Symphony number no. 7, also known as Leningradskaya Symphony, composed by Shostakovich in 1941. It has became the real symbol of the uh, siege of Leningrad. The composer was born, raised and got all his musical education in Leningrad. He became one of the strongest warriors, soldiers, because uh, his symphony inspires uh, a lot of Soviet people and soldiers to keep it going and to come to the victory and the moment when vice versa it is discouraged a lot of Nazi soldiers because when they were listening to this symphony 
on the radio. Later, many of them were admitting that that's when we did understand that we're going to lose this war because uh, nothing, we, we felt your spirit, Russian spirit, nothing can beat us, nothing can break us, not a hunger, not a death. just want to congratulate you all with the 75th anniversary of the breakthrough of the siege of Leningrad because you know Nazism, fascism that was a threat not only for Leningrad or even the Soviet Union but for the whole world and that was kicked off Ура! Ура, товарищи!